Hi there and welcome to Economic Observations. My name is Chris. Today is Monday the 3rd of January and thank you so much for watching. Okay, so today we're going to talk about cars and the future of dealerships. On New Year's Day, I took a ride and I went to four car dealers just out of curiosity. I hear about the chip shortage. I hear about the lack of cars available and I thought I would go and see it firsthand for myself. And boy, was it true. My first stop was a Toyota dealer. And when I got there, the, the dealership was closed because of the holiday. And I was able to poke around with no one kind of interrupting me. There was not one new car at the Toyota dealership. There were about 30 pre-owned cars, which are AKA used cars. It's a new name for the used car. And there were no new cars. Even inside the showroom, just pre-owned cars. Glad I got away unscathed there. Nobody was there to bother me. Next stop, a few blocks away, was a Honda dealer. So I walked around the Honda lot and boy, just vast, empty, nothing, very few even pre-owned cars. They had two brand new cars with stickers in the window First one was a Civic. It went for about $25,000. And the other one was a hybrid and it went for $39,000. That was it. Two new cars in the lot. And after that, right across the driveway was a Hyundai dealer. So I took a walk to the Hyundai dealer and they happened to be open. There were three salesmen in the showroom and one of them came out to talk to me. His name was Doug and he was very informative. He told me that everything is pre-ordered now. So if you want a new car, a new Hyundai, you go into the showroom and you order it straight from the manufacturer basically. They get a delivery every week of 12 to 15 cars. When you pre-order a car, all you have to do is put $500 down and it comes in 12 to 16 weeks. When it arrives on the truck, they call you up and say your car is here, and then you come in and they process the paperwork and you have yourself a new car. There are no pre-orders without a person behind it, because I said to him, well, as a dealership, can you order a bunch of cars to have to sell that are available? And he said, no, everything has to have a name to it and everything has to be documented. He said all of the pre-owned cars in the lot are set at a set price. He said there's no negotiation. It's not what it used to be. He says it makes his life a lot easier. They just sell at the specified price. No haggling anymore. There's none of that. Same with the new cars. He also told me that when you order a new car, there is a dealer fee up to $5,000. So if you buy a car and the manufacturer price is $40,000, you'll pay $45,000, um, an additional surcharge of $5,000 on top of that car for the dealer's assistance in getting it to you. Very, very informative. Doug was very helpful. He told me the chip shortage is expected to last until 2023. And he said also that it's all due to China not releasing the chips and sending them to the United States. And you can read about it. It is over the news that China is hoarding a whole bunch of agricultural supplies. They're hoarding gold and they're hoarding chips. So that is the problem with the chips. Well, the car dealers don't expect the problem to be resolved anytime soon. After I left Doug and the Hyundai dealer, I went to a Chevy dealer and the Chevy dealer had five Colorado trucks. That's all they had. Five trucks, five pickup trucks, four by four, Colorado, brand new. They were all about $47,000 and the rest of their lot was empty. Nobody again was there. Luckily to greet me, I looked inside the showroom. There was an antique Chevy buggy in the window and there was another red pickup truck from like the 1960s. That was it. They had nothing for sale. Now I know why they were closed. 
Doug at the Hyundai dealer told me that a guy came in earlier that day wanting a new car, but when he heard about the $5,000 fee, he was just not happy and he walked out not buying anything. And Doug said, some people pay it and some people don't. Which leads me to think about what is the future of the car dealer, right? Tesla has some physical dealerships, but they're not typical dealership. They'll order you a car, but it goes straight from manufacturer to the buyer. They're just a showroom to show you the cars, to teach you about the cars, and hopefully get you to buy one, but they don't sell you the car. They can help you order it direct from the manufacturer. And I think every other car dealer is going to go that way. Bye-bye car dealerships. The car salesman role is going to be eliminated. I really believe that cars sell themselves. And if people want a car, they're going to order it directly from the manufacturer. There is no need for a middleman anymore. These are the kind of jobs that are going to be eliminated all around the world. I also think the real estate agent is going to be eliminated. There is no need to have someone sell your house to you. Your house sells itself. I've sold four houses in my lifetime and I have never used a real estate agent. These middlemen who typically get a percentage are going to be eliminated. It's going to be direct from the manufacturer on the cars. And for people who are selling a house, they can sell, save themselves two to 4% by selling it themselves and hire an attorney to do the closing. It's that simple. Even if you use a real estate agent, you should hire a lawyer anyway. Make sure that they're looking out for you because a real estate agent is looking out for the seller, not for the buyer, right? The seller pays the fee. Although you might think the buyer does, it is the seller that pays it. Anyway, these are the kind of jobs that will be long gone. I think a car dealership by 2025 will be totally eliminated. Maybe we'll just see used car dealerships all across America. Maybe a couple of showrooms to show you that brand new Tesla kind of car. Because let's face it, everything's going to go electric pretty soon. And then I think real estate agents will slowly dwindle down by 2030. Anyway, those are my predictions. I found it truly fascinating. You should go check out Drive By Car Dealership. See how different it is from years past. Doug at Hyundai said he's used to seeing 300 brand new cars in their lot. Well, there were no 300 cars to choose from anymore. And yet, the dealerships are quite happy with that also because they're not paying all that for all that inventory, right? Inventory costs cost a lot of money. So does the real estate that they sit on. All of that is going to be gone. Anyway, just my thoughts. Thought I would share them with you. As always, thank you so much for watching. This video is sponsored by the Tanzania School Foundation, a nonprofit near and dear to my heart. There are links in the description below. Should you like to learn more, please don't forget to like and hit subscribe. Be kind, call someone, tell them you love them, and we'll talk again real soon. I'd love to know your thoughts, so please comment below. Thanks.